Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Uh, this is Ming Chen. I'm over at a Shared Universe podcast studio, home of podcasting, also the home of collecting. Uh, today, one to unbox something that I've been waiting for for a while now. Announced, I believe, the first time I saw this item in its prototype form, San Diego Comic Con 2018. And this comes courtesy of my friends over at Tweeterhead, who create some of uh, the most spectacular statues and maquettes um shout out to my man chad colbank over there who's always been uh nothing but a uh a, a gentleman a supporter and uh, a guy who just puts out really really amazing products so um without further ado i have right here uh this is from uh again tweeterhead and this is the superpowers starfire maquette and it, this thing is uh, this thing is pretty amazing. I first saw it. It was in a glass case, 2018 San Diego Comic Con. Uh, I don't even believe it was painted yet, so it was like the great prototype. But you could see the the action, and it's very dynamic. It's very beautiful. It's uh, it's uh, and this is uh, the Starfire market. It's Starfire, definitely um, hot. I mean, it was very, it was a sexy statue, and I was like, dude, Chad, Tweeterhead. Uh, when this comes out, I'm totally going to pick one up. And it is uh, a couple years later, it is finally out. Um, it arrived, and there uh, I don't think I don't think they made a whole ton of these, so it's actually very very hard to track down. But as uh, as it were, whenever you need whenever you need anything, statue, maquette, collectible, um, collectible, you know, but very statue wise. We call our friends over at Fanboy Collectibles uh, from Newtown, Connecticut. Uh, my man Troy Emmy hooked it up, found one for me, and had it shipped over. And here it is. I've actually been holding on to this thing for I think uh, anywhere like three weeks, almost a month. And today I found found some time to unbox it. So um, welcome to the studio. You get a nice wide shot so we can uh, so you can see everything. And um, yeah, let, without further ado, let's uh, crack this thing open. So, uh, Coriander, Princess Coriander, Starfire. I fell in love with her uh, new, uh, new Teen Titans number one. And the statue is based on artwork from the, the, the beautiful and talented George Perez, Mike's favorite, one of Mike's favorite artists. I definitely love his artwork and how he loves to cram like 80 million characters into one frame, one splash page, one poster. But also uh, just a really, really great guy, too. Um, if you watch Comic Book Men, he appeared. Uh, he's a Comic Book Men alumni. And I would have, had a, had there not been a, a coronavirus, I would have probably would have been seeing this week. He comes to Dragon Con every year. He's a big Dragon Con. Um, I'm going to raise this thing up a little bit. He's a big Dragon Con aficionado. And the last time I saw him, we were both waiting in line for the, the Bunny Hutch party. There was a big party at Dragon Con every Thursday night called the Bunny Hutch. Uh, all, the, all the ladies dress up in uh, but, um, some kind of pop culture, geek, bunny-themed outfit, and the guys just kind of roll in. Um, mainly like silk robes, Hugh Hefner type. So uh, season three, episode three. Thank, thank you, Nick Franco. Season three, episode, or, ep yep, season three, episode three featuring George Perez. Uh, if you remember in that episode, Mike has just had his comic book collection wiped out by a hurricane. And as a surprise, as a way to kind of inspire him to rebuild and, and reform and regenerate, we get we invite George, we get George Perez to uh, to um, create some custom artwork for him, which is right there. Actually, that's the artwork that George did for Mike. He's a hell of a guy, my friend. So um Anyways, let's uh, less talking, more opening, right? So let's uh, let's crack this thing open and try not to cut myself. Um, I am very excited. I do not know why I waited so long to open this, but um, the uh, the slow buildup, ladies and gentlemen, as it comes out slowly. Uh, so as you can see, I believe I did not bring my tape measure here and I don't, do I have one laying around? I believe it is 26 inches high, I believe. So, um, and, 
Here we go. There, there it is. Every, there she is, everybody. I right, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you can, you can have your poison ivies and your Harley Quinns, your Ravens and your Huntresses. Uh, for me, it's all about Starfire. So there she is. Pretty, pretty amazing. Um, you know. Sorry, I'm just moving the mic down. Um, might I have a thing for redheads? Uh, you know, that's very, that's very, very possible. So let's uh, let's take a look at the the, uh, the detailed box here. It is uh, this is pretty this is pretty amazing. Um, I got to give a big shout out to the sculptors Sam Greenwell and Jack Matthews. That's uh, Matthews with one T. They did an amazing job on this and uh this is the other side of the box so these are the other figure uh the other maquettes in the superpowers collection um uh the yeah, huntress martian manhunter uh batman robin green lantern and uh and uh so i believe this is <coughs> deanna troy action and i do have the um donna wait deanna troy, donna troy the um and i do have the batman one here actually <laughs> Actually, I, here, I'll bring the Batman down just so you can see it. Um, just for, just, oh, oh, geez, I almost broke it. Oh, well, that's what super glue is for. Uh, this is the this is the one in the Batman for a comparison. Um, also from the tweeter at Superpower. Donna Troy, thank you, Nick. Um, why do I, I think Deanna Troy's from Star Trek, right? So I'm sorry. I haven't had any coffee. I haven't had any Death Wish coffee yet. This is the Batman. Geez, I need to dust this thing too. This is the Batman from the uh, the Superpowers collection. So I'll keep this one up here for comparison. And um, yeah, so this is uh, this is the other side of the box. So we get her profile. We get it straight up. And uh, yeah, man, let's let's open this thing. Um, I actually, and for everybody's enjoyment, um, we got Starfire Cam here too. So let's uh, let's give you. I give you a little detail on the Batman. Um, this one is sculpted by the uh, the <laughs> the always amazing, the always talented, and uh, friend of the family, Paul Harding. I believe he did the Robin as well. But that's a, that's the. Uh, I'll move it back a little bit so you can get more detail. I think the the trick to all these unboxings is to, is to try not to break any of this stuff. So, but that's a Batman pure action. Uh, I believe there is an ex, a tweeter at exclusive with uh, different different gauntlets as well, different different hands. Um, I don't have the exclusive version, so but uh, that is uh, amazing. So, let's um, let's open this one up. Uh, I will move. Batman, I guess this way. All right, so um, we'll go. We'll go to the wide cam here, and let's crack this thing open, my friends. So um, I, I, I love on the back. It's like Pokemon says, "Collect them all." Which uh, one, two, three, four, five, six? Um, that that's going to get expensive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. So let's uh, let's pull this out of the box. All right, this is not. Oh man, I might have to flip this one upside down. You know what? We'll do it like. We'll do it like this and hope we don't break anything. The classic, uh, let, let gravity do all the work, right? So. Slow and steady, come on. <laughs> all right, there we go. Didn't want to come out. Uh, Caleb Knight asks, uh, how much does this retail for? I believe it's $274.99. So this is, um, statue-wise, maquette-wise, I feel like this is, that's a extremely reasonable price for what you're getting. Um, listen, I, I love all these other statues from other companies that I won't name, but 
they are very, very, very. They they're very expensive, like pro, sometimes prohibit prohibitively. So, and I'm also going to be honest. I love statues, but there's only you hit a certain price point, and, and I know it's listen. It's art. I like. I would rather have this above, you know, like a Van Gogh or a Monet. You can keep those. I would rather have these, and I know it's art, but it's. You know, in the end, it's also a statue. You look at it, it doesn't really do do much. It, it you know, we're fans, so it, it, it excites us. But at what point um, does it, are you like, well, I just dropped, uh, you know, like a grand on a statue. What do I, what do, I do now? So, um, Andrew Fairweather, uh, does that hurt the value taking it out? Probably. Um, I, I mean, I keep all the materials. I'm going to keep the outer tweeter head box, the inner, the, the retail box. All the packaging hopefully i mean i i really wouldn't never want to sell this just because it's so beautiful however if i had to um that's where i would keep all the materials so uh what is the rarity i can't i don't know what these were limited to to be honest with you i want to say I, i'd have to ask about that i don't want to misquote anybody so um all right so let's uh let's We'll, we'll take this out. Uh, let's switch over to uh, Starfire Cam here. Um, so this is the base, which is very, very, uh, very alien-like. Uh, possibly from uh, from the home from Starfire's home planet of Tamaran uh, of the Vega system, and uh, so that is the base. Uh, we have two hands here. Um, uh, uh, uh. so yeah, that's, uh, to, to punch, to punch people with, um, we'll get that one over there. We got another fist here. Right here. So, um, two of them right there. And, uh, let's, uh, let's carefully pull out the rest of it and see what happens. Uh, silica gel, anybody? Do not eat. I'm not. I'm not that hungry. All right. So, all right. Here's the here's the rest of it. Let's uh, let's go to this camera right here. Um. There she is, everybody. Thing of beauty. So there is a slot, I guess, slot A into, uh, is this? Point A into slot B. All right, am I not doing this right? <laughs> All right, I'm referring back to the box here. All right, I think I've got it. Let's go straight in, man. Dang it, Tweeterhead, why, where are the instructions? <laughs> Aha, all right. I got it, there we go. Um, she is armless right now, so now we gotta, we gotta figure out which one goes on which. It is, yeah. I somebody mentioned. I mean, a lot of you in the comments are like, "Wow, that is that is beautiful." I, I mean, it truly is. It truly, <laughs> it truly is. Uh, Gary Hill says, uh, "If you're gonna play with the slots, buy her dinner first. I, dude, I am not. I am not strong enough for a Starfire. I, I know that for a fact. So, there we go. There. So. Little side profile action here. It's uh, over here to the front. I I I think the thing I really love is the hair. And I have a quote here from George Perez who said, "I base the figure on the description uh, on which was Red Sonia in outer space." Um, 
But uh, the um, the great Joe Orlando passed by. He was like, dude, you got to make her hair, make it longer. And <laughs> he went, not only did he go longer, he I mean, he really took that to heart, the, the longer description. And uh, so he calls this uh, the Mighty Mouse Contrail, I believe is the way he described it, which is like that big, huge swoosh. So... Yeah, there it is. Uh, here, Batman, you went, you went in on this action here. Batman over here. And uh, I need to, I really need to get one of those turntables, but that's that's the side. I know some of you guys are like, hey, what's the what's the ass shot look like? Um, and while it's finally sculpted, uh, again, big shout out to the sculptors, Sam Greenwell and Jack Matthews, who worked tirel tirelessly on this. But for me, it's the, 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 uh, that the, the fiery... <laughs> the fiery in-flight action trail of uh, this hair. It uh, it is really amazing the the level of detail on here. Uh, I again, I believe the retail on this is is two seventy four ninety nine, which in statue terms is pretty reasonable in my opinion. So switch out to the wide shot. So uh, uh, and then we'll switch back to this one. So. It's pretty amazing. So I believe, uh, I think you could probably get these on tweeterhead.com. Um, if not, the uh, head over to fanboycollectibles.com. They may be able to track one down for you. Uh, they're out there. They're very, they're pretty limited. I think uh, they didn't make a whole ton of these. And that's a shame. I think every, I think every fan needs one of these. So yeah, now the, pr now the, um, now the question is, where do I, where do I put this? And uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I might have to go to Ikea and get another display case for, for, for this. And then I need one that's about yay high. So, um, but anyways, that is the Tweeterhead Starfire Maquette the, from their Superpowers collection. Uh, it is based on the... Uh, it is based on the artwork of uh, our friend George Perez... And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, that's, that's it. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and again, uh, I got to give a big shout out to, uh, Troy Emmy over at Fanboy Collectibles. He came through and was like, Hey, I, I having trouble finding this Marquette. Do you, is there any chance you might have one? And, uh, got it to me that week. Um, shipped it over in a big box to the secret stash. And, uh, yeah, this one. This one's this one's been one I, one I want been wanting for a while. So, um, all right, I let's give some shout outs to people while I'm here. Chris Chris uh, Bergsma, love you, Ming. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I am now. I, uh, <laughs> I got a sweet I got a sweet Marquette over here. Uh, Gary, on all series, I'm missing you at cons and just shooting the shit. Hopefully, when the sickness comes, I can make the pilgrimage to Jersey and can show me around the studio. I would love that. Um, come to the podcast studio. Come to a shared, um, come to the secret stash. Um, all of all of that. Uh, Tony Tremblay, uh, holy cats, those are incredible figures. But I would not know how one expensive those would be here in Canada. Um, that's a great question. I don't know what the conversion rate is, and shipping's been very slow between the two countries. But it is uh, it's, it's, uh, pretty amazing. Kalal, Luis Padilla, need them both. Um, Yes, I wholeheartedly agree. Gary Hill, uh, she's looking fierce. Absolutely. Hey, what's up? MRDM photo, my friend. How are you? She's beautiful. Nick Franco, awesome. Vince Gentile, all the way from Oregon, is chiming in. Wow, that, uh, that is a beaut. Absolutely. Um, Tyler Swafford, for the, for the love of all things holy, bring back comic book men. I, dude, I would if I could, my friend. I would if I could, for sure. The uh, Eric Collender says uh, the Golden Girls skateboard is purely gold, and there yes, there is one in the background. I uh, why is this one all? Why is this one all pixelated? I have no idea. We'll go back to this camera for now. And um, yeah, that is uh, that is, that is what's going on. Uh, David Daryl Cersei, uh, that totally reeks of awesomeness. <laughs> Both statues. It's pretty cool. I mean, I I yeah, I get get big shout out to Tweeterhead. They really really make some. They really, really make some great stuff. So um, it is amazing. Rob Munt, hey, hey, from the Isle of Wight. 
We almost made it there, Rob. There was a Comic Con there. We almost made it, and they screwed us. And we never got to make it. One day, my friend, I'll be back in the UK, Edinburgh, London. Um, London would, yeah, London would be fun for sure. Mike, Chris, good morning, happy Saturday. Uh, Jackie Steen, hello, hey from Seattle, released the Kraken. Yes, the Kraken, the new NHL hockey team. I cannot wait. Caleb Knight, that is L I T lit. Kevla L. Hi, Ming from Essex, UK. Mike Silk, what's up? Thumbs up. Mike will be sitting here at, uh, in a few hours at 6.30. He's booked some time here at the studio. And uh, <laughs> Anthony Owen, is it time for beer yet? It is. It's noon here. So, yeah, I might grab a beer after this. So, Kevla, George and his wife are so nice to me. Yeah, they absolutely are. They're, they're amazing. Um, so, thanks, guys. Uh <laughs> Uh, Mo Youssef, Yo Ming, nice figures. Conversion rate for Canada is a dollar thirty Canadian to to US to one US dollar. So this wouldn't be that bad converting. It's the shipping that I would worry about. I think so. Uh, talk to Troy over at Fanboy. I, I he may be able to get something decent. So, um, and uh, yeah, all right. So that uh, that concludes the unboxing of this figure. Now I have to find. Um, welcome, Coriander. Princess Coriander Starfire to your new home um, here at a shared universe. Uh, and, uh, we're literally sharing universes over here right now. Uh, now I have to go buy a class case or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just leave her here on the podcast table for a little bit. It's pretty uh, pretty sweet. So, um, All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Saturday. Um, happy Labor Day weekend if you're here in the U.S. And uh, I'll, uh, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. See you guys soon.